Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We did a little bit of shopping at Sephora, so that's what this video is about. We're just gonna do a Sephora haul. Let's get into the video. All right, you guys, so I went to Sephora and I stocked up on, well, not stocked up, but I went in there and I got some items that I probably didn't intend on getting, but got. Does that make any sense? Needless to say, I got a lot of stuff that I wanted to try out that I haven't yet. So let's just get into what I purchased. So the first thing that I went in there and purchased was the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This right here, I have heard so many people talk about it. And I have been on the hunt for a eyebrow pencil that is going to let me mimic real eyebrow hairs because I want my eyebrows to look really realistic and so I feel like an eyebrow pencil that has a thin tip would do the job and this says hair like strokes and natural looking definition and I was so excited to try it out. I got the color warm deep brown four and I will open this up for you guys so you can see what it actually looks like. And let me tell you, I've already used all these products because I cannot wait. I always tell myself, like, maybe I should just wait until I do the video, but I can't help it. And so everything that I'm showing you today, I have on my face right now because I wanted to show you guys how they actually work. But this is the pencil right here. And it has, it's a very interesting looking pencil. I have never seen anything quite like this, but it's fancy. It has a spoolie on one side and on the other side it has the tip and it has the really fine point pencil. I'm still experimenting with this, seeing if I like it, which I do. I did my brows and I feel like they look really, really realistic. I also used the NYX Thicken and Stick It first and then I went in and made hairs with this pencil and I'm really liking how realistic and natural it caused my brows to look. So I'm gonna continue using it. The only thing I might do next time is get an even darker shade. Like I said, I have the color Warm Deep Brown and I think I can go a shade deeper. I don't like my eyebrows to look too dark or jet black, but yeah. This one's actually the perfect shade, so I might or might not experiment with a darker color. All right, and the next thing I wanna show you is foundation. I went in there and I got two foundations. One of them I had heard about for a long time, I was really curious about, and I just went ahead and said, let me try it. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. And I used it and love it. It is definitely a light coverage. This is not a full coverage foundation, but it gives you that very pretty, my skin was glowing. It And it had such a pretty brown, color to it and when I say brown I didn't look ashy I didn't I wasn't leaning towards the gray side it was like the perfect brown glowy skin like finish I really see why it's raved about I got the color 14 cool Freud this is what it looks like it comes in a tube like this um how much is this this is one fluid ounce and it says for your best healthy looking skin every day and I definitely would say this is a foundation for you, if you are looking for an everyday foundation and you don't wanna look like you have on makeup, you just have pretty skin, like you just put on like a moisturizer or a lotion, I definitely would recommend this foundation. It's perfect for that. It's also perfect if you're not a makeup wearer and you just want something to enhance your skin, to give it a good coverage. This is a foundation that I definitely would suggest for you to try, 10 out of 10, recommend. And the next foundation that I was super excited about trying out was the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. I have heard this raved about for the longest and I finally got my hands on it. I picked up the color 38P and first of all, I like this, is this glass? I feel like this is glass. This container is so beautiful and this is the foundation that I'm wearing today and I love it. I absolutely love this foundation. It gives you a flawless finish, but it does not look cakey. To me, you can tell that you have on a foundation. Now that Charlotte Tilbury foundation, I feel like could pass for skin. This one, you can tell that you have on makeup, but it's the prettiest finish. And I've had this on for a few hours already, and it just melts into the skin. It looks skin-like, but just flawless. You know, I absolutely love I can't say absolutely love enough, but I really, really, really like this foundation. And it comes with a pump. It also says it has hyaluronic acid in it. It provides anti-pollution benefits, which is great because 
I just learned that when you go outside, you are getting so much pollution on your face. <laughs> That's why we have to wash our face every night. 12 hour hydration. I love foundations that have hydration. For me, I don't have super oily skin and I don't have super dry skin. I, I say I have normal skin. So I like that it's hydrating because it kind of sets into my skin better foundations like that and make it look more skin light, more smooth, more natural. And that's the kind of foundation that I like. I am very, very pleased with the results and I will keep you guys updated because all these products are new to me and I just tried them. I literally got them like two days ago. So I guess this is like my trial period, you know, just testing it out, seeing how it reacts to my skin over weeks time. Sometimes you have to give things time to grow on you and just to see if you actually like them. But just from what I've experienced in these past few days, I'm loving every single thing that I purchased. The next thing that I finally got my hands on was this brow pencil. And I know you've probably heard about it. It is the Limitless Brown Lip Liner Pencil by Makeup Forever. This brown seemed like a brown that I would like. If you all know anything about me, I am obsessed with the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. I mean, that is my go-to brown. This one is definitely lighter in color, but it's still that rich brown that I like so much. I believe that the MAC Chestnut lasts longer in my opinion. So today I'm wearing the Limitless Brown Lip Liner. I went in with my favorite 111401 Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick Color. And then I applied my Dulce Latte Lip Gloss by Juvia's Place to get this combo. It gave me such a beautiful brown neutral glossy lip that I love so much. So I definitely love the color. I can just tell that I've had to reapply this more. I feel like it wears off quicker than the MAC Chestnut, but would I buy it again? Yes. Will this become a staple in my makeup collection? I'm thinking so. Like I said, I'm gonna keep using it, but so far I do like it a lot. And the last item that I wanna show you all, this is the item that I'm most excited about, you guys. It is this highlighter by Refi right here. I personally had never even heard of the brand Refi, but um, now I know them. And I'm curious to see what their other products are because if, let me just, let me just slow down. I purchased the gloss highlighter guys this gloss is amazing i have it on right now this is a highlighter that is not going to be powdery you guys know i love my precious petals by wet n wild i've used that all year long but this is a different kind of highlighter it is a liquid highlighter it also is a more glossy transparent i have the color topaz it puts a glossiness on your skin that looks like skin i have it on right now this glow right here doesn't that look like a natural glow, like my skin is just glowing? No, that is this right here. I applied a little bit to my nose and let me show you guys what it looks like. It's in this cute little package right here. A little goes a long way, but I would suggest that when you open this, that you are careful with it because this was like $28. So I don't want to waste any of the product. When you open it, you have to be careful that you don't squeeze out too much because I almost did that. and. You better believe I figured out a way to suction that highlighter back down in that tube because we're not losing any of this. I want to show you guys, I don't really, I don't necessarily need any right now, but I want to show you guys just what it actually does when you put it on and smooth it out. Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to do this with no mirror. Let me get a mirror. But when you put this on and you just, I tap it in with my finger and just bring it up. It is the prettiest glow. Just tap it around. Do you guys see that glow? And then I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. It's such a glossy, like skin, like so natural. I'm just highlighting different areas. Do you guys see that? Oh, it's so beautiful. It is gorgeous. I'm so happy that I found that because it is so natural looking and I'm just like moving into this natural looking makeup era. Like I'd still like to be dramatic, but I still don't want my makeup to look cakey or look like obvious. I like my makeup to look seamless, more skin-like. So I was so excited to actually find all of these products because they work so far amazing. And let me tell you all, God is so good because I had put all of these things, well, not even all of them. Some of these things were in my cart and I was like, Lord, thank you for these. Like, 
I, I'm telling you, God cares about the little things. I put them in my cart, put my faith that I would have all these things. And like within that week, I had them all. And I'm just giving God the glory because I praise him in all things. I don't take anything for granted. Even when he gives me makeup products that I've been wanting, I say, thank you, Lord. And thank you, Lord, for my husband who was just like, get everything. And I'm like, God is truly amazing. So yeah, guys, like I said, this is how I did my full face with these new products. I'll link them down below so you can try them out if you are interested in any of them. So if you have any makeup favorites, please drop them down in the comments below and tell me about them. I want to try them out. Yeah, so just drop it down below and let's help each other out. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for being here on this journey with me. I love this YouTube community. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.